Hello and welcome to another tutorial for JD Builder. In this video, we'll look at our live preview feature and how that can help you do faster editing for your JD Builder website, for your Joomla website. My name is Shaitan and I'm with Joomla Dev. Now this is another assumption that you have Joomla and JD Builder installed. Let's go ahead and open one of your existing pages or you can create a new page if you like. Now, when you're creating a new page, you might not see the live preview button just because you initially have to save a page the first time before you can live preview it. That's, that's kind of a structural limitation. So once you're done uh, putting a title, just put up any title and save the page and then the live preview will start working. Now with the live preview, I can either preview it right here and it'll automatically adjust or I can preview it a new, in a new tab, which, uh, we'll look at as well. So, and the, a few other options that you have here is the live preview works really well. So let's go ahead and add another element here. So we'll add an image here. And this one will just select any different image, save it. So what live preview does is it reflects the changes real time. And if you're uncomfortable with this smaller layout, you can say open in a new tab right here and this will still preview your page, but then make sure that it has all the current changes as you are looking at them. So what I'll do is I'll exit this and we have our live preview open in a new tab. And then I'll make another change here. So let's say, I'll add just add another image. And this one, this one. Okay, perfect. I'll save it and save it again. You'll see what happens is this page that we had open will automatically refresh and has the image. So the live preview is really useful when you're making edits and you wanna see what they look like in real time. And if you have a big screen like I have, the in-screen live preview works really well. It gives you control over everything and you can still see everything in real time. And as you're making edits to stuff, what happens is, so let's say I wanna edit the first one live preview will automatically scroll to the web uh, to that area of the particular screen so if i am trying to edit the element at the bottom you'll see it automatically scrolls to the bottom of the page which is really useful and then at the same time you can select if you want to preview it for tablet or if you want to preview it for mobile it'll resize and also toggle the settings for mobile or tablet. So in this case, if I'm looking at it on a mobile phone, the width is only applicable to mobile. And I can also switch back from here. Again, I'll switch the preview. So this kind of syncs up with what we have here. So desktop, desktop. And then you could always exit the live preview or refresh the live preview if you want to. So let me turn it back on. And you could always reload preview if you want to or exit it and be comfortable with this screen as well if that's the way you want to do things. And that's it about the live preview. Thanks for watching.